Guys, how you doing? I thought today what we could do is we could discuss the Lark Mark II. Now, I bought this a couple of weeks ago, so you can see it here. And the reason I bought it was because I bought it for wedding films. And there was a couple of reasons. One was because of the size. The size of this is really compact, really small. And you can buy it in a combo which comes with a USB-C connection for either the Osmo Pocket 3, which I'm using just now here, or you can have the other connection that goes onto an iPhone or Android. You can plug into the Android as well. So the reason I bought these was because purely they're compact. Now, they don't have 32 float and they don't have internal recording. But for me, it was a small price to pay to have a mic on a bride. Now, I know... There's a lot of people that do wedding films that will put mics on brides. They'll either put, you know, a, a, a road mic on or they might have a task cam with a, a lavalier mic that they, could, they, they, they you, you put up the dress and all this kind of stuff. But for me, t you know, the problem with weddings is everything's completely fast paced and it also depends on the bride. So there's times where I've managed to get mics on brides and there's times I've not managed to get mics on brides. And what we've had to do is rely on the groom's mic to pull out the audio post it and you know boost it in post production so when I seen the Lark Mark II I knew as I say it didn't have 32 internal and I knew it didn't have internal recording but the quality that sounded from these videos I thought was was worth the the purchase so I thought well I've got nothing to lose by by doing it so this wedding that I'm going to show you you can you can hear the audio from the bride and groom this is direct to an iPhone which was doing a live feed on TikTok. So what I did is I actually just copied the, the live feed on TikTok, just downloaded it, and I've just put the audio on for you to, to hear it. And then you can let me know what you what you think. The groom also had a Rode mic as a backup. Because these don't have internal recording, I was worried that, you know, if, if for whatever reason, because I've just used them for the first time, that they failed, I still had a, a Rode mic backup on the groom. The Humanist had the DJI Mic 2 on a magnet, and we hid that in her dress, so really you couldn't see that either. But for me, I really, really like these mics um, because of the size. And I tell you what, if these guys could do 32 float or even internal recording at that size, I think it'd be an absolute game changer because they are so small, so compact. The bride didn't even feel when I asked her afterwards, did she feel she had a mic on? She said she didn't even, she forgot it was it was on her dress. Whether before I would have had to clip something or as I say, she'd have ended up having wires going up her back and, and round the strap and, and all this kind of stuff. Um, so let me know what you think. I'll play it now. <coughs> Victoria, I love, how, I love how active and adventurous you are from running the New York Marathon with no training, <laughs> climbing multiple, multiple Monroes, or conquering Winter Hills in the worst possible weather. I love that you are fun-loving and silly. We always have fun, even if it's just the two of us sitting in the house having a glass of wine. No. <laughs> Kenny, I love your boundless energy and your enthusiasm for life is infectious. You inspire me, you challenge me and you remind me to always find the fun in life. Whilst I love our adventures, some of our best memories have been when we were doing nothing at all. You're my biggest fan, you push me out of my comfort zone and make me strive to be a better person every day. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime kind of love and that no matter what challenges might carry us apart, we will always find our way back to each other. I promise to love you unconditionally and I can't wait for all our adventures together and I know that as long as I'm with you, I am home. Kenneth, Joseph Nickel, I love you. So there you go. Um, you can hear the, the, you can hear the audio from Kenny and you can hear the audio from, from Victoria. And for me, it's, it's ideal. It, it sounds really, really good, really um, crystal clear. The receiver, or sorry, the iPhone that was doing the corn, um, the recording 
was down at the bottom of the room. So it's a good 30, 40 feet away. No interference whatsoever. Even when they turn their backs, absolutely no problems at all. And the only thing that did happen was the... And I, I don't say this is a, this is a problem for um, Lark Mark II because I had the magnet on the back. The magnet, what I did is I put the recorder in the inside of his jacket and the magnet on the outside because I'd covered it with the black. Because with these, you get like little stickers that you can see here. And these little stickers you can put on the microphone to make them more hidden. So I put white, of course, for the bride and I put black on for the groom. And the little magnet, when the bridesmaid came to give, her, give him a hug, the magnet fell off and fell onto the floor. Now luckily, because he's wearing military uniform and the the jacket is really well fitted, it still stayed, the microphone and the jacket just stayed in place. It was just the, the magnet that fell onto the floor. As I say, I don't blame Hollyland for that because it's a strong magnet, it's just that he had a really thick jacket on. So what do you guys think? Um, for me, I'll be definitely using them again. I'll be using them for the bride all the time. I'll just make sure, of course, that you know it's either plugged into the camera, so when I hit record, it's just automatically recording. Um, or if I'm doing a live feed again, I'll just plug it onto the, the, the iPhone and then you'll get the direct audio from the, the bride and groom for the for the live feed. Um, I can take I can take the live feed audio from TikTok. I downloaded it. And then saved it and then post-production I could I could edit the audio on that. So I could still pull it from my live feed if I needed to do that. Um, but there's not many, many this this couple had guests that couldn't turn up from around the world. So they really needed the they really needed the, the live feed. But for me, um I would probably use them all the time now, but still have a backup mic on the groom for you know, should anything go wrong with these mics. But then I do that anyway. I always have either the, the Tascam and a Rode mic on the groom. Um, so for me, I'm just replacing one with the, the other. I'll probably, in all honesty, replace the the Rode mic and keep the Tascam with a lavalier mic on and have this little mic as well. So, I really like them, but let me know what you guys think in the in the comments. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.